in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We offer this Mass today for the intentions recommended for George Espinoza by Catherine Espinoza. Birthday blessings for Lynn L. Frank, Franke, Lou Critia, Moria Olson, and in thanksgiving to Padre Pew. I will also want to add at this month's intentions for my younger brother Obina, who is celebrating his birthday today and two children of my friend also celebrating their birthdays today Chukuka and Tumebi Ndoka praying that God's blessing will be on all of them and also for the Padre Pio group in our parish for God's continuous blessings but as soon as in need of God's mercy let us ask for God's forgiveness You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave priests, gave the priest St. Pius a shield in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the suffering of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Add nothing to his words, lest he reproves you, and you will be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not. To me before I die. Put falsehoods and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need, lest being full I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or being in want, I steal and profane the name of God. The word of the Lord. Your response is, Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. From every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. 
Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment. Therefore I hate every false way. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehoods I hate and abhor. Your law I love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and live from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. So we heard Jesus sending his disciples on mission, challenging them to go preach the good news and equally to perform those great miracles, those signs of healing and exorcisms. But then he told them not to carry loads and loads of material stuff with them. No sandals, no tunics, no this, and everything. And I ask myself, can really one embark on a missionary journey without taking anything with him or her? Surely we do take something as we embark on missionary journeys. But I think Jesus is saying something deeper. And what is that? He wants us to understand that the success of our missionary enterprise does not depend on the externalities of materialities. Rather, the success depends on the internalities, the interiors that we hold. And what are those things? A confidence that a God who has sent us on this mission is not going to abandon us. Because the tendency, therefore, people to think that it's the material things that I have, that I carry, that is making the way for me, is always there. But Jesus wants us to see it differently. That the success is in the connection, the interior life, the confidence in God, that God will always be there. And when you think about this God being there, you think in the light of our first reading today from the book of Proverbs, where this book, which we reflected and called a civics book, but civics plus. What is it saying? I'm praying for two things before I die for you, O Lord, to give me. Do not give me excessive wealth. 
Because with excessive, excessive wealth, I can deny you. Because I may begin now to trust in the power of my wealth to open doors and to do things. Also, do not allow me to get into penury, into poverty. Because in that stark poverty, I can steal and profane your holy name. So it's about having a sense of satiety, being satisfied with what I have, but trusting in the God who provides. This is as Jesus we teach in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. Have a sense of contentment, not hanging on those externalities of wealth and power and the doors they can open because they will not be able to open the kingdom of God. It is the interior life, the connection with God, the confidence in God that is able to do that. And so when we think about our celebration today of St. Uh, uh, Pius Pietresina, whom we all call Padre Pio, we also saw someone who had that confidence and trust in God. We all remember him because he was a stigmata, because he had the wounds of the crucified Christ with him. But he was also somebody committed to his vocation, vocation to the religious life and the priesthood. And he spent hours and hours in the confessional reconciling people, trying to make that interiority available for many people, that they can have that connection with God and confidence in God and satiety in the God who provides. That's our celebration. That's our challenge. I don't know what you pray for, whether you pray for excessive wealth. Sometimes I pray to win the power ball. I don't know whether you pray for uh, you know, penury. I do not pray for penury. I pray to have enough to get by. But when we listen to scripture like this, it helps us to understand the what is most important. And what is it? It's not in the great wealth. It is not in the poverty. But it's in the satisfaction we have with God. The interior life that we are able to develop because it is that which will open the doors of the kingdom for us. Let us pray. And we pray for all our parishioners, all our parishioners who have those here present and those who have joined us online we pray for the sick. We pray for all those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers. We pray for all those who celebrate today. Chukuka, Tumebi, Obina, Lynn, Lucrezia. We pray for the members of the Padre Pio group in our parish. We remember to pray for all our children who have gone back to school. We pray for our country that in the tension of the moment we may not lose our sight from God who is always calling us to have interior connections with Him. And then for all that prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. Our prayer in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, good and merciful God, we thank you for the beauty of creation and ask pardon for how we have abused the universe you created and found good. At this time of universal pandemic, we come helpless before you, asking for mercy for ourselves and our world. 
grant eternal rest to the dead, and your healing favors to all infected with this virus. Through your help, may a lasting remedy be soon found. Protect all essential workers and all in the front lines as professionals and as families who risk everything for the care and support of others. Grant to our political leaders the spirit to work together for the common good, to our spiritual leaders the zeal for the salvation of the souls in their care, and to us all the determination to do all that are asked of us to be safe and to ensure the safety of others. May the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, invoked as help of Christians, grant us all the favors we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. And may the good Lord hear all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of the blessed pious Pietrasina, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, Grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pius Pietrasena, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending time your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Pius Pretrecina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May we show this hand of peace to one another. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. We love you above all things and desire to receive you in our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you are already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Our prayer after communion. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for feeding me 
with your most holy body and blood today. May this food from heaven be my source of healing from our spiritual and bodily discomfort. May it be my strength and defense against our sin and temptation. May it fill me with the grace to imitate you who are all good and deserving of my love and thanksgiving, so that my presence everywhere I go today will reflect your honor and glory and bring comfort and joy to all I meet. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed pious Pietrasena, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. And have a good day.